Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're out early Sunday morning at Albany Pioneer Days, Albany, Minnesota 2022 and I got a rather special episode for you all. Um, there's going to be an auction here on the grounds well held in conjunction with uh, Almond Auction Company and the mothership here is not happy about external links being posted so here's all your information right here. The Peternell Auction it's in conjunction with Almond Auctions, almondvintagepower.com with their fall sale. It's an online only auction and basically the tractor show here is going to sell some surplus items that have been in storage for a long time and basically give other people the opportunity to add something potentially really nice to their collection. So we'll just do a quick walk of the lines here, see what all they've got to offer. 5U Series D2 seems to be a pretty stand-up machine. Decent undercarriage on it, 41 cat hydraulic unit. Speed X 1632, Power King 2414. Alice G with a two-way plow. This is kind of interesting. I kind of like that two-way plow under there. Alice B, Massey Harris Pony, yep. Belly Mountain Sycamore. Another Alice G. Looks like cultivators mounted. Got a Silver King. This is a Huber, I am not sure of the model. We're just doing a quick walk of the line. Rather smallish in size. Field Marshal, Farmers Union Co op tractor, 1935. Shepherd Diesel, this is the three cylinder version, still rather rare tractor. John Deere G, Graham Bradley. We have a Ford N series, I'm guessing probably two in maybe. We're not going to get that close into it. It's on steel though. We got an Oliver. Not sure what that, that's a row crop 70, here's a row crop 60. Cat 15, next to that, Alice M crawler. Drawbar unit, looks pretty straight and clean. Got a Twin City right here, Massey Harris. Oh, that's the, I should know the model of this one. Just says four wheel tractor. That's the four wheel drive one. Fordson Model F with fenders. We've got a Hart Par, looks like a smaller cross motor design. Rock Island, neat old tractor. Alice, is this a A or a U? Let's see if we can't find something about it. Might be a U, I'm not too up on that. We'll just let that go. We got a case. Uh, Massey Harris Twin Power, another Massey, it's the old boilerplate belly crankcase design, another Rock Island, Oliver Hart Parr, again not sure of the model, rather old one, another Huber, we're getting a little bigger here, and another I'd say mid-size cross motor case. Down on this end we have a International McCormick W4, that's basically the Farmall H engine, and we are like the lower set good plowing tractor. International Diesel 600. Gas start. Switches to diesel. That could be a nice tractor right there. That's a Brute. We have right here W400 Diesel. Diesel 400. More like the Universal. I want to say road crap. That's probably not the right word. Gas 400. Farmall. We have a 300 Utility. Farmall 230 with a Farmall 200 on the other side of that. Here we have the 140. And this looks like it is a high crop. Is it a, I don't think it's an A. That could be a high crop A. Um, we're just gonna leave it at that. Nice cultivator mounted beneath. It's actually an interesting uh, looking tractor right there. This is, looks like an A. I don't think it's a super. Belly mounted woods mower. Farmall 100. A little bit more uh, desirable unit right there. We've got a Farmall H. We have the Cub, again, belly mounted mower. And is that the High Boy Cub? I, eh. Another, here's a Cub Low Boy right here. Yep, that's the low version right there. So there's your difference. A little bit newer, a little bit older. Farmall 460, looks like a gas. Yep. Oh, corn picker. Great American with stock walker. There you go. We have a case, looks like it's a baler. Wisconsin engine on the front. Alice Roto baler right here. Have a, a road planer. Here, I should maybe even be buying this rock picker. Look at that, all on steel. Looks fairly clean. 
and an assortment of smaller we got this little bolens right here i'm not even sure what this is all these little walk behinds this one's on tracks just kind of a whole bunch of neat stuff in here we've got this pull grader it looks like a russell going by the frame let's take a look back here yes this is a russell grader has both the axle offset to dog track as well as the side to side adjustment and the old cat i believe this is an rd7 i think it's a 9g i did a walk around yep we got rd up there i did a walk around with this one a couple years ago so that's also on the channel looks like that one's up for sale and we have another rather interesting so russell standard number three pull grader cab everything there John Deere 42 pull behind combine. And we get into some trucks down here, some GMC stuff. I'm not too up on the automotive stuff. And this outer row is mostly all implements and we have just about every kind of international fast hitch two point and one point attachment ever known to man. We've got plows, we've got back blades. There's this two point ripper shank subsoiler. I've never seen one of those. Cultivators, two point sickle mower, another cultivator single point disc another single point disc single point plow another single point plow back there it just goes on and on and on slat plow spreaders mounted cultivators John Deere tandem discs John Deere two bottom plows on rubber on steel cultivators we've got a three point plow two bottom Some Dearborn plows, a Ford single bottom plow, Dearborn scoops, three point. This one's kind of interesting, Minneapolis Moline, 3.4 bottom. I like that big cast front on here, the MM. That would look good on X231. I'm not, I, we'll just leave it at that. Another John Deere 2, potato pickers. Neat right along, it looks like some kind of a cultivator, a wind rower. Maybe, I'm not real sure. This is an interesting plow. Single bottom on big wide spoke wheels. That's kind of neat. So that's my walkthrough of the lines. Just a quick once over, uh, go and check them out once again instead of posting an external link. Here's all you need to know right there. That's your opportunity to buy some interesting things. Thanks for watching everybody.